Yeah, we're trying something new here. We're doing this at the wave. James taught us this. Yeah, this James. Week. During the uh, traffic the report. The of all things yeah. dancing. Hey, let's start, let's start with something very important. Happy anniversary, Ryan, oh. uh, to oh. you and your lovely wife. Thank you, 18 uh, years. Okay. Uh, today, the topic is uh, apps that are being developed right here in Hawaii, and I bet those t-shirts have something to do with it. Yes, so these uh, apps are developed at Blue Startups right now. It's the longest running uh, startup accelerator in Hawaii. You get some money, you get a lot of mentoring access to networks, and basically it tries to help companies get going. And it's started by Hank Rogers in 2012, twice a year, they have a number of companies go through it. Right now they have 10, half of them from Hawaii, half of them from elsewhere. Okay, let's talk about three of the Hawaii apps that are being developed first. Sure. Well, Grumble, Grumble.space. Grumble. Now this yeah. is a great idea. It came up at Startup Weekend first and now it's a company. So basically they say this is the time, uh, social network for the times in life that aren't so great. Okay. They started calling themselves like the Twitter of despair. You know, so I, this like, is, I mean, you go there specifically to complain, right, to right. moan. Yeah, exactly. Now the, the, the key though is it's actually really an empathy opportunity because a lot of people, you know, their pictures on social media are just hot dog legs or YOLO, right? right? right so right, right, yeah. now you're saying, oh, you know, this was not a great day, but right. you have an opportunity opportunity to express that and people can express sympathy. There's mm -hmm. hashtags so mm -hmm. you can tag it about work or about food complaints right. and stuff like that and it matches you with people who have a similar complaint and maybe you can make a friend. Like Grace. <laughs> like Grace. Yes. You know, every complaint will match you with Grace. That's what <laughs> no, no. right. I'll never come back to work again. <laughs> no, I'll just be on no. Grumble all the time. Okay, give me another one. Uh, well, there's one called Key Reply and if you are into emailing, like Say setting up Bite Marks Cafe, we got to email our guests and let them know where to go. And, right. But it's, it's a repetitive thing. Yeah, right? you're sending the same and of thing course, a lot you know, of times. You yeah. never thought that you'd have to type so much with your thumbs. Right. So Key Reply actually stores those messages in a, in a sort of a modified keyboard and allows you to actually cut and paste it directly from your keyboard oh, okay. into, the, into the email. You yeah. could use Gmail. You could use Facebook messaging. You could do all your messaging. That Anything that brings up the keyboard, mm. you can use it. That's that's cool. One more. Got right. One so more. we have Quest Organizer. Quest Organizer basically lets you add on adventure to travel. So Dan, when you're going to London, you yeah. use the site and say, hey, why don't you spend an extra three days in Canada or in New York? And it's the same amount or even less money because you're taking multiple one-way trips. Uh -huh. So they use a lot of low-cost carriers. They break a lot of, of of those, um, you know, the the merges of airlines, and you can take a lot of uh, sh sh cheaper and shorter trips. Okay, so I'm going to London, but it's going to plan something in the middle. Yes, absolutely. And it's not going to cost me more. Yeah, exactly. Tell me how you to could, in fact, that, save yeah. money that way because they're breaking those alliances. That's kind of cool. And they have paying customers right now, which is also good. It sounds like it's a, more for the retired person who has got time. Right, if you're going to take a two-week two vacation. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty cool, though. And guys on Bite Marks Cafe tonight at 5? Well, you know, obviously there's a lot of interest in entrepreneurship, so mm. we thought we'd uh, bring on a couple of entrepreneurs and residents and ask them the questions. What does it take to be an entrepreneur? And once you're starting your company, do you still be an entrepreneur? What is it? What kind of life do you lead mm. if you're always an entrepreneur? 89.3 on the radio. It's uh, Hawaii Public Radio, 5 o'clock tonight, Bite Marks Cafe. Ryan and Bert, thanks guys as always. Uh, we're going to go to break. Back with more Sunrise coming up in just a moment.